Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to the 2018 Geneva Motor Show. Now today I want to bring to you a little bit of a different video um, as it's my last day here, it's my last couple of hours actually. Uh, so I thought I'd run around the show and show you the weird and wonderful cars that are here this year. And like I was saying in my previous videos, there are some extremely cool cars here. Uh, which have been getting plenty of exposure uh, throughout social media. However, I want to go a little bit more in depth and find some cars which you might not have seen already, um, which are actually quite cool. So I'm over here now at the Alfa Romeo stand where they not only have a standard Giulia Quadrifoglio, they also have the brand new Quadrifoglio N-Ring. This thing looks insane, finished in this very nice matte grey paint. Uh, but pretty much it's a more hardcore version of the Giulia Quadrifoglio, which as it is, is a very, very cool car. If I take a closer look, we can see it's got a lot more carbon pieces. I presume this kind of paint, this matte finish, uh, is an option for the carbon mirrors, which I believe is an option for the standard one. We've also got a carbon roof, which looks very nice. Then if I open the door here, then it seems the carbon extends on into the interior. You can see it's covered in the center console as well and over to the driving area and steering wheel. Now the Quadrifoglio N-Ring is limited to 108 examples according to that little sign there. It's going to be a pretty rare car actually. And to be fair, you don't see many of the standard Giulia Quadrifoglios as well. So that's going to be a nice surprise when we see some on the road. Now this is very, very nice. We're over here at the top car stand. And as you can see, they do some very tastefully modified Porsches. This one to start off, I believe, started its life as a Turbo S Gen 2. You can see they've had their little touches added on. We've got the GT3 RS kind of side uh, in intake louvre things there. We've got the carbon stripe through the middle with the yellow pin striping. And it's also finished off in a very nice matte grey. I have so much love for the Gen 2 Turbo S, let alone when it's been modified like this. This I really like. However, over here we have a Turbo S cab, which as you can see is full carbon. Oh yes. Actually, you know, it's not full carbon because it's normal uh, paint there. Either way, it looks very nice. Take a little peek inside. You can see it's got a completely custom interior, a gold gear stick, and tons of carbon as well. But also, have a look at the seats as well. They are very unusual. The yellow seat belts which stand out loads as well, and the top car logo embroidered on there as well. But going back to this carbon, actually, this is phenomenal. Check that out. So I seem to have found the uh, concept section of the Honda stand. Check out this uh, rear brake light kind of thing. I'm not sure what it is exactly. I think it is probably LEDs that go all the way around, but it's pretty much see-through. I can imagine that would be pretty lethal if that was made into production because, I mean, you can just see inside and steal whatever's in the back. But yeah, check out that in there. I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but that's pretty much a massive iPad which goes right the way across the car, so that's pretty mental. Got some nice wheels on it as well. But um, yeah, it's like driving a bubble. <laughs> now this concept here looks a little bit more realistic. You can see at the back though, it's got a little TV screen. <laughs> so who needs badges when you've got an LED screen? You can see that the lights and the badge here are all illuminated, which I actually really rather like. Um, but yeah, I can imagine this being a pretty cool little sports car if they were to make it. Inside, I don't think it really exists. Uh, it's kind of just a standing display model, but yeah, I quite like this. From the front, it looks kind of cute as well. Look at that. <laughs> Very cool. first video from Geneva you would have realised that I've done a lot more talking about some of the cars such as the new Chiron Sport. Um, so make sure you go check that out if you haven't already because uh, otherwise I'm just repeating myself in two videos. Um, but yeah it seems to be a little bit quieter today than it was yesterday. Uh, it's just good to get a bit of a, a look around some of the cars. But yeah I do like this. Over here now at Zenvo where we have the new Zenvo TSRS. Now before I get into the facts and figures of this car can I just say how good this thing looks? Uh, obviously a few years ago the uh, Zenvo ST1 I believe it is uh, was revealed it looked great but I think that this is what it always should have looked like Eagle Eye viewers may notice that wing and how it's very different than any other wing I've ever seen before now at first glance it kind of reminds me of a wing uh, which you see on a Liberty Walk car because it's got these kind of struts attaching to the back of the car uh, but actually you might see these little hydraulic arms here because when you turn the wheel it actually kind of tilts uh, the wing according to what way you turn the wheel. Uh, obviously making it extremely good around corners I can imagine, 
Uh, I've seen a couple of videos online uh, of it being demonstrated. Obviously, there's no one in it now, so we can't have a look. Uh, but yeah, this is some new technology into uh, aerodynamics. It's never been done before, uh, and I have to say, it's a pretty good idea. Um, the only thing I can think of is if you're parking it up, say outside Tesco's, if this is your daily runabout, then you're probably going to look like a bit of an idiot with your wing dancing around as you're trying to parallel park. But uh, nonetheless, this thing looks absolutely awesome. See that huge carbon air intake at the top, multi-spoke gloss black wheels with the red calipers behind. And if I move inside, you've got a pretty funky, kind of almost race-inspired uh, interior. But yeah, like I say, this thing is an absolute weapon. And hopefully. We can see one uh, on the road soon because I've never seen one of these cars on the road. I've only seen them at shows like this. Over here at the Lamborghini stand where we have finally this Performante Spider. As soon as the Performante was released, I knew that it would look so good in a convertible variant. Especially in this colour as well. It's kind of like a matte blue. I'm not sure on the exact colour name, but it just looks absolutely stunning with those yellow calipers and the Italian stripe as contrast. Oh my god, I love this thing. So what we have here is essentially a flying car. This bit is the car bit, obviously. And then up here is, well, a massive drone. You can see where it uh, kind of fits onto the roof. Um, but yeah, this thing is really weird. It kind of looks a bit like a Renault Twizy, but it's got an Audi badge on it. Um, but yeah, check that out. There's some videos in the background which kind of show it. Well, I don't think that's actually real, but kind of show what it's supposed to do. But that is crazy. In the video I filmed yesterday, I featured the Mansory stand quite a bit. And as you can see behind me, they have a pretty awesome array of cars. But I thought I'd come back, seeing as this video is about the weird and wonderful, because Mansory are probably the king at making a kind of weird, customised cars. So yeah, this is their Mansory 812 Stallone. Uh, it's actually the first customised 812, I think, in the world, and certainly what I've seen. Um, but like I was saying in yesterday's video, it's kind of got this really cool carbon weave with the red infused bits in it. Um, and, well, as you can see, it's absolutely dripping in carbon, um, as is the VR next to it, but I'll get onto that a little bit later on. I'm not sure if there's any power gains, but I suppose knowing Mansory, it's probably nearing a thousand brake horsepower. So if I zoom in at the back, we've got a ridiculous wing, and also some rather luso like uh, side louvers as well. Um, I'm not too keen on it, if I'm honest. Um, the standard 812 is a stunning car. This, however, I'm not sure about. <laughs> and then, of course, next we have the Viver, obviously based on the Veyron. This thing looks absolutely ridiculous. Like I said in the video I filmed yesterday, it kind of reminds me of a kitchen top with this kind of really strange camo-like carbon weave. Yeah, it's completely customised, as you can see. It's even got a diamond baguette badge. So I'm over here now at the Liberty Walk stand. The back here we've got a Liberty Walk M4 and a Liberty Walk Mustang. But the cars I want to focus on are up here. Now this behind me here is the Type 2 kit the Liberty Walk have just revealed for the event store. Now only 20 of these are going to be made. I believe eight are already sold, uh, but this thing looks ridiculous. I'm sure you know how ridiculous uh, the Type 1 Liberty Walk event store looks, but this has just got some uh, final tweaks which I'll run through now. If I pop round to the back, we can see we have a revised wing on the Type 1. The struts were kind of uh, mounted on either side of the plate. We've got a fresh design on the rear diffuser, uh, on the side skirts and on the front bumper. I think if I put round, it's kind of an SV bumper. As you can see like that, fitted with some pretty heavily concave Forgiato wheels as well. But if I swing around here, we have this Liberty Walk GTR. Now actually a friend of mine owns this car and I've kind of been kept up to date on um, it being built back in the UK. It's just been finished and its first visit is here to the Geneva Motor Show. It's actually finished in a triple layer Lamborghini paint, which I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, is Blue Cephas. This also is a Type 2 kit and it's the first one that has been built in Europe. And my God, this thing looks unbelievable. As you can see here, it's got Army Tricks exhaust, a crazy ironing board for a wing, completely customized three SDM wheels. Like I said about the color, the Lamborghini color, carbon hood, some ridiculous side skirts. And if I put around to the front, we can see we've got the 2017 GTR front end. As well as that, this thing is also running a thousand brake horsepower, so I think wow. this has got to be the ultimate GTR. So I'm afraid I'm gonna to have to cut the video there as I've gotta rush off and get my flight back to the UK. I hope this has given you a better idea about some of the more unseen cars at the Geneva Motor Show. 
Uh, there's tons and tons and tons of stuff here, so even I still haven't covered all of it. Uh, but if you want some more information on some of the more hyped up cars and hypercars and supercars that have been released at this year's show, make sure you check out my other video which I filmed because I've got tons of information on there. Uh, so please don't complain of the lack of information in this video. This is kind of a, a different kind of thing which I'm doing. Uh, but anyway, like I said, that's all we've got time for today. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos from this year's show. If you have, make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe. All the adventures are coming soon.